Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to share a little project um, that I was working on. So I got making a, a few of these and then I decided to stop and turn on the camera so that you can sort of see what I was up to. And then um, I tried to record once and then made a whole bunch more and figured out that um, something had happened with my SD card. I recently got a new one so hopefully this all works. So. There, there's a bunch here <laughs> and um, I'm going to show you the envelopes that I used which were purchased and I'll show you a quick quick tutorial on how to um, make one uh, for yourself if you don't have uh, bought ones and um, and then just quickly maybe if we have some time we'll decorate a few and uh, and go through it together so uh, nothing special I'm sure it's all been done before but uh, I just pulled out some little these are called craft paper bags or mini paper bags and um, just did a little bit of collaging and put uh, some decorative papers on the front and I thought they would be really cute for um, and I don't have a tag here with me now but uh, to make a tag tags and and stuff ephemera to put inside and then you could insert them into pockets or something into your journals. So these are just some of the ones I made. Uh, I used some of my own things that I stamped. <clears throat> excuse me. And this is Tracy Fox. And some of my own cutouts. That could be Rachel, uh, Rachel's bird. <laughs> um, Tracy Fox. Just whatever you have to embellish. A lot of this is just out of my scrap bin. Um, the music papers, and I love that one. There's a fairy on the front of that one. Birds. Uh, I kept them sort of nature themed more or less. Because um, I figured that always goes well in journals. This one has cute ducks. I love this one. And then this one is just made from a, another little kind of bag that I have. There's these mini paper bags. These are really like bags though. These are, you know, have the bottom and the... These are a little harder to use. Um, but I thought it was cute anyway and would just give it a try. So yeah, I so I'll put those samples aside. And then these are the other bags that I used. You can see the size there, if you're interested in that size. I mean, you can make these out of any size you want. And I have a lot of them, so that's why I decided to use a pre-made ones. Otherwise, um, I would have probably just made my own. And if you're interested and you don't have any pre-made ones, I'll just quickly tell you how you can make your own out of whatever book page you have. This just happens to be some dictionary page. And it just seemed like sort of the right size. So I... I found some dictionary page of my own and this happens to be more or less four by six size um, but like I said you can make this any size you want I'm not really too concerned about the measurements because like I said uh, it's totally up to you um, for the sizing and what your what project you might be using them for but this seemed close enough to the pre-made size a little smaller but it, it was fine with me so I, I took two pieces of the 4x6 dictionary page and I glued them together just to, for some support, just make them a little thicker. And then all I did very literally was fold them up. I, again, not really caring too much about the size. Um, but uh, so they're about the same uh, width as this, which was three and a quarter by four and three quarters. Um, this is probably a little wider than that, but anyway, so you would take your book page and you would just fold into the center, overlapping maybe just a quarter of an inch so that you have something to glue this side down to, if you can see what I mean there, and make your creases like that. And then uh, just for you know video sake, I'm gonna use my pen so you can see what I'm about to do. And it's really not that hard. 
So we're gonna wanna do just a little bit of cutting. And so while it's folded and before it's glued, I'm gonna ask that you cut off um, I'll show you right here. I'll use a ruler just so it looks a little straighter. So from end to end, I'm just going to draw a line there and one at the bottom. You don't have to do this part. You could just take your scissors and cut it. I'm just doing it with a blue pen so that you can see where I'm going to cut. So now I'm going to take my scissors. You see the two lines that I've drawn there. Once you open it up like this, you can see where exactly what you're going to cut off with your scissors. So technically you're going to stop there and stop there. And I'm just putting a line on the crease again so that you can see. Um, so that's what you're going to cut off. We're going to cut off these little... Oh, let me just quickly do that now. Well, so that's one. That's two. Three. And four. Okay. So now that's what we have left. Okay, so now we'll just um, so now when you fold it back in, you have this left. With your scissors, you could taper these edges in a little. On all four sides like that. And then uh, on the bottom here, you'll just fold that flap up. So now you've created that bottom little flap um, here. So we will just grab some glue. I'm just gonna use my glue stick real quick. mistake we're going to want to glue that <laughs> seam down first so I'm just going to put a little glue on the side here and close that up sorry so yeah you'll want to close up your middle seam there first It'll probably be a little easier and then we're going to sorry fold up that bottom one again and then we'll leave the top one open for your pocket so pretty easy simple way to make pockets you don't have to use dictionary page you don't have to use you know whatever papers you have around book page would be really cute um, actually really cute because you'd have to probably do less collaging then but yeah so that's just a really quick way to create a little um, pocket for yourself if you don't have pre-made ones so um, let's see okay why don't we actually decorate one that we just made so you could eliminate this step if you'd like. If you like the look of um, distress ink around your edges, you could go ahead and do that now. I don't always anymore. I used to distress everything. Um, not so much anymore, but sometimes I find that, uh, especially with this kind of book page or dictionary page, the, the um, distress ink just adds a little more sort of vibrancy to it um, but like I said not necessary at all just get that inside flat there okay let's see what would I like on the front let's do some This is very similar. Let's do some music paper. So I'm just reaching right out of my scrap bin. It's right over here beside me. 
and um, you can make some collage or layering. It's all up to you. I'm just going to tear this down a little. Sorry, you can't see me. I'm just roughly tearing down a piece here. We'll see if it fits. A little bit too long. Just using my tear ruler. And take it down a little more on the side. Okay, so I like the music paper on there. screaming for something colorful or even just white. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the music paper down a little bit more so that I can sort of put a border around it. I'll show you what I mean in a second. I feel like it just needs something lighter behind it. You see here, the contrast. Okay, so I think that should be a good size. Just ink this up a little. All right. Okay, now I think I'll just do the um, cheat method. I'm going to glue this down to that white one and then I'll cut it to fit. This. Stick it onto here. And then I'll tear this down. that'll work. So let me just finish tearing this down. I really hate to measure anything. So a lot of things with me is by eye. <laughs> it doesn't always work. Um, but as long as I'm making things smaller and not, not having to add to it because I made it too small, then that's okay. Yeah, I think I need to go down a little bit more. Here and here. Let's try that. There. Okay. So once you get going, I made a ton of these, like literally in, you know, no time at all because um, it goes very fast, uh, especially using the scraps in your bin. They're kind of right there at hand, and you just pick what colors you like and. Great way to get it all used up. I mean, you could even just turn on the TV and keep making, you know? Um, okay, now what do we have for a little decoration? Let's get out the birds and such. Do I have any cuddle already? And you don't have to use birds, birds or butterflies or anything like that. These are cute. Let's see. Uh, 
That's pretty. Plain, but pretty. Or that one too is nice. Okay, let's see. Do we want a label or something? Stamp? No. No, I don't think stamps. I got labels uh, recently from AliExpress. They came in. So really happy with those. <laughs> Because sometimes I'm making the um, Marguerite Miller challenge that I'm trying to follow. Um, I don't always have somewhere to write my prompts, so I thought it was a good idea to get some. So they finally arrived. I'm trying to look for something that I can put... That blends in too much, maybe. Hmm. I don't think I like anything from there. Let me see what's inside the Tracy Fox bin. and it's got a bit of green on it. Um, not my favorite, but I like it. <laughs> Oddly enough. This one. Hmm. I think I like that one going a long ways. Um, okay. Won't play around too much. I've already cut this one down, so I'll just ink it up. Glue it down. I just thought they'd be a really cute addition to your journals, you know? sticky birdie on there. There. And that's it. Simple and easy. And in that short amount of time, you know, you made your own um, little uh, paper sack and, um, and decorated it too. Super, super cute. And if this, no, let's see. I thought I saw a tag in here. I mean, this is really just too long, but I mean, you can easily put stuff in there. Um, these ones too. Really sweet. Love that. Um, let's see. Well, we have the other one. We might as well. I won't do one of these ones because, I mean, you can see them here. It's the same thing. And like I said, if you have ones that are pre-made like this, that, you know, half the, the step is completed for you. So you're just left with decorating, which is fun. And, um, yeah. Okay, so let's do this one. What can we put on here? looking through my what will we do a little collage maybe okay I have some paper that I 
this is some old ephemera that I have, so I make copies of. Could use that. Um, paper down here. Okay. Mm, those are all very similar. I don't know. Maybe we'll use that one. some white music page this time. Look at the color on that. Used to be white pages, but unbelievably old. Okay. I'm just gonna tear down some of those empty spots. Okay, maybe something else. There's white dictionary paint. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to put this down in the corner. I didn't ink up the edges this time, but <clears throat> that's fine. I think I may have cut these pieces just a little too short. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring this down a little and I'll have to find something to put up there. I think I ripped myself off. <laughs> I cut down my stuff too short. Okay, I think we'll put this one going sideways. This is just a quick little collage. I'm going to cover most of it anyways, probably, so let's get this in the corner. Am I in frame? So my camera hangs right above me, and if I work directly on my um, Tonic Studios uh, glass mat, I get a horrible reflection because my light is there too. So I have to put a piece of paper on there, which is kind of a pain. So it likes to slide around. And I know lots of people have said put tape on it or, you know, but in the haste of wanting to um, record, I don't always prepare it properly. Okay. There. So really, literally a very quick collage. I don't like this bit here, but that'll probably get covered up anyway. Let's go back to our birds and see what else is in here. Um, aren't they cute? No. These 
these are big. That's pretty. Let's see. I might have to cut this down and so I found this little image. But I feel like I have to tear down the edges and then maybe even back it with something. A little more with some color. Let's see. The weather is so weird today. It rained. It said it's supposed to rain all day. But then the sun comes out so nice and bright and then it clouds over and then it gets bright. Oh my goodness. So yeah, that just totally gets lost in there. So I think I'm going to tear it down even more. And I would like to put some thinking about this old paper, like this brown behind it. Yep, I think I like that. So, where can I put it that I might find? A lot of empty space, I don't know. Oh, who cares if there's words showing, right? I think that's all part of it. Let's see. Okay, let me ink this up. straight edges. Do I want, I'm going to have to maybe cut it down with my scissors. Let's see. See what happened? I ended up covering up most of my collage, but that's okay. I think I'm actually going to take this down a little. I just wanted a little bit of brown showing. Paper tears so easy. Just go lightly. Okay, I'm gonna glue this and put it on. Without ripping it. Okay, we'll put that in the center. Does it need anything else in the corner, maybe? Um, we may have to go back into this box. What colors do we have? Orange, red, blue. Oh, there's a little. Something caught my eye. but pretty there's the other one that we did and 
that's it. I think, um, yeah, I'm glad that we did those two that we made from the dictionary page. And uh, just bring these back in real quick. So that's our project for today, you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Give it a try. Yeah, it gives you a good opportunity to, um, you know, take out some of this stuff that we purchase. And, you know, sometimes you only use a few and, and then that's it. But So it's a good way to use those up. Like I said, to put in your journals would be great. Or just separately, you know, could fill them with ephemera and send them away or do whatever. Um, but yeah. So that's it. Uh, let me know uh, if you enjoyed that project and uh, if there's anything else that you want to know or see, just write it in the comments below and I will answer your questions. And hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and keeping healthy. And we'll talk to you all real soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Bye-bye.